Today we are aerating lawns. What I normally do is I, uh, I group together a bunch of my clients that want aeration and I'll rent an aerator and do it all in one day. It's uh, more economical for me. I just don't feel like spending a thousand bucks on an aerator just to do it once or twice a year, you know? So I'll wait until I have about six, seven, eight yards and then I'll rent one for 70 bucks, make about three, 400 bucks in a day, and that's it. So uh, my guy, Jose, is aerating right now. Aerating is no fun if you've ever done it. It's a lot of manual work. It's a heavy machine, unless you have one of those uh, easily steerable ones. This one we have is just self-propelled. So you gotta muscle it around every time you, uh, every time you turn it around, you gotta pick the tines up, drop the tines, walk with it, lift the tines up, turn it around, and drop the tines again. It's very tedious. So this is our second yard today. We have a few more to do, and then we're gonna go and cut grass. It's a beautiful day. We've had three days of rain nonstop, so it's been rough. I'm a little behind on my routes, so we're gonna try and get caught up today. So that's her. So first thing you want to do when you're aerating is get a good perimeter. I would say make two passes the whole way around everything you're going to aerate. That way you don't have to have a chance of running into a fence or running into a retaining wall or running into a car. Uh, if you got yourself a good perimeter, that will help you to uh, make it easier for you going back and forth and turning around. Then next thing I would do is go around any trees, make a good two passes around any tree rings like this. Go around it twice, you saw him do that before. And then once you have that done, then it's just a matter of going back and forth, back and forth, sort of like he's doing right now. We got our good perimeter, and now it's back and forth. And as you'll see, he doesn't have to go all the way because he's already got the perimeter. It gives him room to turn around, and it saves you uh, money whenever you break someone's fence or run into their house. So, hope that helps. Like he's getting a wider perimeter. He doesn't feel comfortable getting that close to the fence. I would do the same thing. You can't see it from way out here, but that fence is pretty brittle. So if you even accidentally tapped it with that heavy machine, it's going through. Jose, you're a smart man. So this is a pretty big yard. The backyard's about the same size. 
each yard takes probably about half hour, 40 minutes to do. If you're doing it the right way. Now we could do it faster, but we like to do a good job at Horizon Man Management. We aren't necessarily too concerned about doing it fast, but at the same time, we don't want to take all day to do one yard. But our emphasis is on quality, not quantity. So we take our time, do a good job, customers are happy. And that's all that matters, client satisfaction.